Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to my another live stream today. So this is the 13th of August 2020 on Thursday. So I hope you're having a great day today. Um, today I'm a little busy. So um, uh, the live stream will be very quick. But um, let me try to um, uh, share with you the correct Sanyaku Koten and Sanyaku Gekten signals. So that a, um, you can uh, find, you can have better understanding of, uh, of one of the most powerful uh, indication of uh, of this uh, ichimoku uh, kinko hyo here. So basically, every day I do the lives, and today is on Thursday. So every Thursdays and Tuesdays I talk about ichimoku kinko hyo basic lecture. So today I will um, we're gonna look at a couple of pairs and confirm which one of these pairs is actually um, have a you know good setup in terms of sanyaku koten or sanyaku gekten signal so let's get started so before starting here uh, as a disclaimer uh, this knowledge is based on my experience so when you take trades please do uh, with your risk okay that's primary uh, condition so let's start from uh, Euro JPY, and here is a daily chart on this Euro JPY, and currently it's going up. Basically, uh, Euro going up, and USD is relatively weaker, and that's why Euro USD as a pair it's going up. And when you look at the twist of this uh, Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen, uh, it was actually happening here. The first um, gold cross happened here. And then later on, uh, Chikou Span break was happening as a second confirmation. And then the Kumo break had happened in the end. So, and afterwards, the price went all the way up. So this is actually one of the type of uh, Sanyaku Koten signal and that is one reliable, reliable to, um, to take it. So here you can see um, first Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen cross happens and then uh, I mean, that, uh, gold cross, gold cross of uh, Tenkan Sen Kyun Sen happens first, and then um, Chikou Span break of the candles happens next, and then finally uh, we see a Kumo breakout. I mean, a Senko Span B breakout, and this was the Sanyaku Koten signal, and afterwards it tends to go up all the way, as you can see the chart right now. Of course, there are fakes, right? There are fakes. The price might have been going down. But when you see this right order, uh, then uh, it's more um, it's more uh, confirmed for this uptrend. So this is one of the examples of how you can capture the Sanyaku Koten signal for its bullish market. So once again, uh, find the Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen Gold Cross, and then Chikou Span break of the candle, and then Kumo breakout. I mean, a single span B breakout as a final confirmation for this bullish trend. So, I hope you get that idea. Right? Sometimes, um, you know, Chikou Span breakout happens first, uh, you know, uh, earlier than uh, Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Gold Cross. Or sometimes, Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Gold Cross happened at the same time as the Sakuma breakout, too. So, in either case, that's not the right order. So make sure that, you know, make sure to focus on these right orders. So, yeah, Tenkan Sen, Kyun Sen cross, and Chikou Span breakout, and then Kumo breakout as third confirmation. Alright, so uh, let's look for the uh, dead cross, I mean, a Sanyaku Gyakuten signal. And let's take a look at the gold. Gold is uh, retracing right now. And if you look at the lower time frames, uh, like for example this one, was a typical Sanyaku Gyakuten signal in 4 hour chart. So as you can see here, hold on. So on this uh, chart, uh, there was a uh, dead cross of um, Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen happened first, and then Chikou Span breakout happened next on this uh, left side. right? So you can see that uh, this one happened first, and this one came next. Uh, did cross of uh, Chikou Span to the candles, and then uh, we see a Kumo breakout as a third confirmation. So the gold has been bullish 
for the last couple of days, but now it's retracing. And when you notice this uh, change in 4 hour chart, especially this Sanyaku Gyakuten confirmation, then uh, you don't want to look for buy chance anymore. Right after the breakout, uh, you must be waiting until we see a next good setup. Because uh, this might be going down. This is bearish now. So as soon as you find this uh, close close price to be below the Kumo, then you don't want to look for the buy chance anymore. It might turn negative to bearish side. Alright, so this is another typical Sanyaku Gyakuten signal. So once again here also, the order is very important. First, Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen did cross, and then Chikospan break as a second confirmation, and on the third, Kumo breakout happens. So, yeah, in this short term, I think this is bearish, right? In this uh, Fuawa chart, it's bearish. So, um, I think uh, until we see a next uh, uptrend confirmation, uh, we, wouldn't, we shouldn't buy. We shouldn't look for buy chance. So, you get the idea, right? So, first, once again, Tenkan Kijun cross, and then Chikos from breakout, and Senko Span B breakout. And actually, you can uh, you can apply this in a daily chart first, right? If you're not really familiar with Ichimoku, then uh, start applying this in a daily chart or above time frames, because um, when you look at it, like a four-hour four chart, for example, on this one, um, it might not gonna be so reliable. Um, I just picked this one as uh, just to show you the example, but in reality, uh, even if you see a sign of Gyakuten signal in four, it might go upwards. Right, there's still chance that the price goes upwards from there. So to be safer, um, we should stick to daily chart to find this um, Sanyaku Koten or Gekuten signals. Alright, so these are some of the tips when you try to find the Sanyaku Koten Gekuten signals. And that's something that I wanted to uh, share with you today. Because uh, I've seen a couple of videos or like websites where it talks about like a uh, Kumo breakout itself is the sign Koten Gyakuten signal. So, for example, when you, when you find this Kumo breakout, right, just by itself, you know, I've seen an uh, article that it says this is sign Koten, but uh, now you know that the order is very important. So, this order, first, second, and third. And this order is very important. All right. Okay. So, yeah. And I will talk about more deeper level on this Sanyaku Koten Gyakuten signal uh, at the Ichimoku membership live later on. So, uh, if you're interested, then you can join that one. Actually, there will be a Ichimoku membership live afterwards after this public live. And this is a monthly subscription, and when you see the join button, that's where you can join. So, um, yeah, and that will be happening in about 50 minutes. Uh, there will be a Ichiboku membership live. So if you're interested, you can join. So let me pick up a couple of more examples. All right, NZD-CHF. All right, let's take a look at the NZD-CHF as other example here. So in this is CHF daily chart, um, yeah, this is uh, bearish now, and we see a Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen dead cross happens first, and then Chikou Span breakout happens next, right? And then a Kumo breakout happens finally, and then it goes down this way. And because this is happening in a daily chart, uh, there's a good chance that the price keeps going down from here. Yeah, I think there's a good chance. And this is the right order, right? This is the right order. So you can uh, you can look at uh, the pairs or commodities or the stock market that you're looking at right now, and see w whether uh, this Sanyaku Gyakuten signal or Sanyaku Koten signal is happening. Because um, when you see it in the right order, then that will be a very good confirmation to sell or buy. All 
All right. Thank you for joining, everyone. Good to see you. Good to see you. So once again, I'm quite busy today. So um, yeah, and I have a couple of things to do until the membership live starts. So this live, public live, is going to be for the next 10 minutes or so. But once again, thank you for joining. Good to see you. All right. Good to see you, Jossi, uh, Archit, and uh, Hamed, Dinesh, Arkady, Cyril, uh, Aditya, WM, Brandon, Alexandru, Vincent, uh, Tawhid, Jaye, Karim, and Charles, Ashok, Lenz, Lu Louis Far, Christian, Mr. Fernandez, Gabriel, Prashant, Fabio, ABM, Just4, thank you for joining. Good to see you. Oh yeah, Chikospan is in the Kumo now. Yeah, Chikospan is in the Kumo now, but this is already a good confirmation for its bearish trend. Yeah, and when you really find that Chikospan breaks the Kumo downwards, then this is going to be a serious downtrend. So, just by this uh, Sainko Gyakuten signal itself, this is already powerful. But once you add this Chikospan break of the Kumo, Chikospan break of this Senkospan B, downwards uh, that will be more powerful uh, powerful confirmation for its uh, bearish trend all right yep good job gabriel good job you find it right and sander thank you for joining and lawrence thanks for joining as well good to see you All right. All right, Lens. Uh, when we see Sanyaku Koten, uh, Sanyaku Anten Koten signal at the daily time frame, do we go down lower time frame and take a trade? What should we do? What should we use a lower time frame? What strategy? So it depends on your strategy. Uh, depends on how you capture the trading edges. Maybe you can use uh, a couple of other indicators, like uh, you can draw lines, or you can draw crosses, breakouts, or stochastics like I use, or Bollinger Bands, or you can use a Fibonacci retracement, or you know any any uh, any confirmations you can apply. But uh, yeah, Ichimoku, um, I I usually use it in higher time frames, and because it gives us the B big picture of the market, whether this is buy bias or sell biased, whether uh, which equilibrium uh, the market is on. Yeah. All right. Matulawa, thank you for joining. See you. All right, GBP NZD. Okay, so what do you think of, uh, about uh, GBP NZD, everyone? Um, let me just wait for your uh, your answers and before I I uh, you know check the charts. You know it's so easy for me to check charts and give you some information, but I think sometimes you know it's uh, it's it's nice it's nicer uh, to encourage everybody to look at uh, the pairs by your own so that you can have a you know a standalone understanding of this Ichimoku King Kohyo. So Gemini, uh, you know, suggests about the GBP NZD. So yeah, please take a look at the chart right now, if you're in front of the PC or mobile, and see if there if there is a sign called Koten Gekuten signals on that pair. Yeah, please let me know on, on the chat box right now. All right, good to see everyone. Thank you for joining. So we basically go from right to left. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, Kumo breakout will be all the way to the right. And um, Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Dead Cross was in the middle. And the Chikospan break was happening all the way back uh, on this date. All right, hi Prog, thank you for joining. Happy background music as always. Sure, sure. So this is the uh, Japanese uh, version. 
So、uh, because today's lecture is about Ichimoku k i n k o h y o and that's why I play some、uh, kind of、uh, Asian or Japanese style of、uh, background music. All right, let's see. So,、um, have you taken a look at the GBP NZD yet? Please type the answer if that's a sonic Koten Gakten signal or not. All right. All right, just for should we wait for Chiko Span to break the Kumo for entry or not?、Um, we can enter. We can enter at the break of the Kumo. So, yesterday was a great chance to take a sell. Now it's going down. So, I think、uh, we better wait for the retracement. For example,、uh, we, we, we better wait for the bounce of the、uh, Tenkan Sen and take a sell from there. Yeah, now this is going down. So, we don't want to jump in to the market as of now. Let's see.、Um, what else do we have here? So. What time frame do you use to see if price is trending for our chart, 30 minute, or just daily chart? I use Ichimoku. I use Ichimoku Kinko Hyo to capture the bigger. Time frame market. But when it comes to Sanku Koten, Sanku Gakuten signal, I recommend you to take it or on a daily chart or above time frames. Alright, so Brendan, so、uh, when, when confirmed the Sanku Koten signal on a daily chart, do you go to the middle time frame like 1 or 30 minute chart to look? Uh, if the Kumo is going on the same direction as the signal on the daily to look for edges. Exactly, exactly, yeah.、Uh, when this is going down, then the Kumo should be going down also in the mid time frames to look for the setting edges, yep. Alright, Gabriel, looks great, but would wait for candle to close out of the Kumo on a daily chart, yep. That's,、uh, that's another important point. So, right now, it looks like this is going down. But by the end of the day, by the end of this candle close, it might be turning to bullish. And the close might end up end ending here it, within the Kumo. So, yeah,、uh, it's safer to wait for the candle close、uh, for today. Alright, Sander, yep,、uh, GBP NZD satisfies those conditions, alright? Plus Kumo Twist 2 in GBP NZD, alright? Okay, so GBP NZD,、uh, let's take a look at that one once we have a couple of、uh, answers now. So GBP NZD is、uh, not on my watch list, so let me take that one. NZD. All right, and what we see here now. All right, so daily chart looks like this is going up. Yep, it's going up, and、uh, Tenkan Sen, Kyun Sen cross happened here, and then Chikou Span breakout happened, and the Kumo breakout happened here. It's breaking now, but technically, this is not the right order, right? Because looks like、uh, Tenkan Sen, Kyun Sen happened.、Uh, Later than the Chikou Span breakout. So, Chikou Span breakout happened on this candle. So, this was the first one, and this was the second one. Right? Chikou Span breakout, the first one, and Tenkan Sen, Kyun Sen, Gold Cross happens as a second confirmation. So,、uh, even if the price breaks the Kumo upwards, it might go downwards from there. Because this is not The right order. Yeah. So I think this is a great example of、uh, when the s a n k go, s a n k Koten signal is not in the right order. 
Okay, so make sure that a Tenkan-sen Kijun-sen happens first, and then Chikospan break happens next, and then Kuma breakout as the final confirmation. Alright. Oh, Hapa, thank you for your super chat. As always, you give me super chat every day. So, thank you for joining and stay gold. Alright, and see. Uh, Kisan, is there a way to set an alert on trading view so that whenever Senk Koten happens, uh, will it send me an alert? I saw that some Japanese website display a list of Senk Koten for stocks on a daily chart. Yeah, I think there's a way. Uh, you can, uh, you, you can uh, right click on this Kumo and simply click on this add alert on Ichimoku and maybe you can put the alert on the, the Kumo breakout so condition will be um, yeah, Ichimoku and this one you can set a uh, lead to right condition uh, Ichimoku lead to is the Senko Span B and when it crosses up um, you know it, it, it gives you alert so you can set the alert like this and it should work for this Akuma uh, breakout. So Ichimoku Kin Kohyo and lead to and crossing up so that when, when the price crosses upwards of this um, uh, Senko Span B, uh, I think it should give you alert. Uh, but to be honest, I haven't tried this one. I haven't tried this one. Uh, so, uh, uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, please let me know if it works or not. I will just create create the alert right now so uh, and see if it works uh, on this uh, trading view also. I will test myself too. Alright everyone, so um, I got a uh, lot more comments but unfortunately I have to go uh, because uh, I have a couple of things to do. So uh, once again, thank you for joining. All right, always make sure to uh, follow the right order of the Kumo breakout or Sanku Koten or Gyakuten signal was the lesson for today. Okay, so like I said before, I run the Ichimoku community and there will be an Ichimoku community in about 35 minutes. And so if when you see the join button, that's where you can join. So I will talk about more deeper knowledge and understanding of Sanku Koten Gyakuten signal on the Ichimoku membership live later. So for those who are members, I will see you. And for those who joined here public live, I will see you tomorrow. Alright, so thank you for joining everybody. And stay gold. Bye for now. Matane. Thank you.